Why do you sit like a man? Would it kill you to dress like a girl? Depression. It's just stress. You're too Western. I didn't come to this country for you to behave the way that you do. If you're gonna act like that, get out of my house. But where are you really from? My name is Moira. I'm 21 years old and I'm Filipino-British. Although I spent my childhood moving between the two countries, when I was seven years old, my family decided that it was time to settle down in a small village in South Wales. For a lot of people, this exposure to two completely different cultures seems like something incredible. And honestly, it is. But it also opened a lot of confusion. Like, where do I belong? What place can I call home? Am I white enough to be white? Or am I Asian enough to be Asian? My mum and my aunties used to tell me these stories all the time as a kid. The ones of the lady in the white dress who walked the roads at night, or the ones of this mythical creature called the Mananunga, which liked to eat children if they were up too late. Looking back, I was terrified, but thinking about it now, I think that was just them trying to make sure that I wasn't coming home too late. But my brother was never told the same story. Now, mental health has always been a difficult topic for everyone to talk about. In every culture, everywhere, people tend to shy away from it. I was always encouraged to be open about these things, but it wasn't very often that people wanted to hear the truth. That seemed kind of strange to me. I was always told that family meant everything, and if they really did mean everything, then why did I feel so hesitant about being open about these things? Seven-year-old me was obsessed with labelling one place as my home, but now I realise I don't have to choose. I am 100% British. Pero isang daan por ciento de nakon ng Pilipino.